Good morning, everybody. Plenty of action overnight. Let's kick it off over in Europe. So overnight in Europe, we saw some strength in the euro, particularly against the dollar. This is off the back of some better than expected German GDP data, which came out slightly above expectations. Um, the momentum may continue for the euro with plenty more CPI and GDP data due out later this evening. So something to keep an eye out if you're trading those pairs. The Aussie dollar as well kept up the momentum after the retail sales yesterday came in above expectations, something I'm sure the RBA are going to keep a pretty close eye on. US equities had a great session last night as well. Uh, both NASDAQ and the S&P finished up over 1% uh, going into FOMC. Um, US dollar fell against most of the major currency pairs as well. Dixie put in a second straight loss. Um, however, Dixie's been bouncing sort of between a range of 106, 107 for a while now. So there's not a huge amount of loss in the US dollar strength. Gold and oil both had a pretty volatile session once again. With the war going on in the Middle East, there's gonna be plenty of volatility playing out in these markets. So something to keep a pretty close eye on. Upcoming, we've got big data coming out of China today with the China PMI manufacturing to be released later this morning. Um, all eyes beyond that manufacturing with the concerns of the strength and growing Chinese economy. Um, I'm pretty keen to also see the flow on effects into the Aussie dollar um, with Aussie dollar being such a commodity driven currency. Japan as well are releasing their interest rate decisions. So the Bank of Japan are expected to cut by 0.1. So any sort of deviation from this, uh, we could see some movement in the yen as well. And apart from the FOMC that's later this week, we've also got plenty of US, GDP, uh, US jobs data coming out as well as the Bank of England rate decision later this week. Plenty to come.